In this presentation, we will solve a numerical problem on conductivity of semiconductors. In the last presentation, we derived the formula for conductivity in case of semiconductors and we are going to use that formula in this numerical problem that you can see on your screen. So let's move to the question. In a germanium sample, a donor type impurity is added to the extent of one atom per 10 to the power 8 germanium atoms. Show that resistivity of the germanium sample drops to 3.7 ohm centimeter and we are given some values. Mu n is the mobility of electrons, mu p is the mobility of holes, q small q is charge on one electron, n i is concentration in case of intrinsic semiconductors, n g e is the concentration of germanium in sample. So let's move to the solution what we have to do. We have to find out the resistivity of the germanium sample and that should be 3.7 ohm centimeter. We already know the formula for conductivity and uh, we know that resistivity, resistivity that is represented by rho is given as 1 by conductivity. So only thing that we have to do is to find out the conductivity and then we can easily calculate the resistivity and that should be our answer. So conductivity, conductivity sigma is given as small n mu n plus small p mu p q and uh, now I will see what we have in the problem small n is the concentration of electron that is not given we have to calculate it mu n is the mobility of electron and we have mu n in the problem so we have mu n small p is again not given in the problem and we have to calculate it mu p is given so we have mu p small q that is the charge on one electron is also given so we have to find out small n and small p in order to find out the conductivity. A very important information is given in the problem is a donor type impurity is added. What do you mean by the donor type impurity? The donor type impurity. The donor type impurity is nothing but the pentavalent impurity you are adding the pentavalent impurity and thus you are having excess of electrons making it making it n type semiconductor and in case of n type semiconductor we have n d the donor ion concentrations so we have to find out the donor ion concentration from the given informations let's see what we can do n d is equal to n g e by 10 to the power 8. I can write this because in the problem it is given that one atom per 10 to the power 8 germanium atoms. The concentration of germanium is 4.41 into 10 to the power 22 per centimeter cube and we have one atom per 10 to the power 8 germanium atoms. So the donor and concentration ND should be N subscript GE by 10 to the power 8 and we can easily calculate the value for n subscript d that should be 4.41 into 10 to the power 22 by 10 to the power 8 and that should be 4.41 into 10 to the power 14 per centimeter cube very simple now we have nd and uh, we know that it is n type material and if you remember the mass action law i told you that in n type material the free electron concentration is approximately equal to the density of donor atom so the free electron concentration that is a small n is approximately equal to the donor n concentration n d so we can say small n is equal to 4.41 into 10 to the power 14 per centimeter cube because nd is 4.41 into 10 to the power 14 per centimeter cube now we have 
we have small n also and only thing that we have to calculate is small p the concentration of holes and then we can find out the conductivity and finally the resistivity from mass action law we know n p equals to n i square and in case of n type material small n is equal to n d so we can write n d p equals to n i square so p the concentration of holes is equal to n i square by n d so from this we can calculate small p the concentration of holes and uh, then we can calculate the conductivity so let's do it quickly n i square it means let's see the value of n i square given in the problem 2.5 into 10 to the power 13 per centimeter cube so 2.5 into 10 to the power 13 square divided by n d is 4.41 4.41 into 10 to the power 14 and uh, if we solve this we are going to have 6.25 into 10 to the power 26 divided by 4.41 into 10 to the power 14 per centimeter cube 6.25 divided by 4.41 I'm going to use my calculator 6 point two five divided by four point four one and uh, this will be one point four one seven two one point four one seven two into ten to the power twelve per centimeter cube so this is the value for small p the concentration of holes and finally we have everything required to calculate the conductivity so we will quickly solve for our conductivity sigma and uh, this is equal to small n mu n plus small p mu p into q the value for small n is 4.41 into 10 to the power 14 let me change the color we will solve for conductivity in different color 4.41 into 10 to the power 14 mu n is the mobility of electron and it is 3800 centimeter square per volt second so we have 3800 and uh, small p is 1.4172 into 10 to the power 12 mu p is one eight double zero and then we have to multiply everything inside this bracket by the electrons charge one point six zero two into ten to the power minus nineteen and the unit should be centimeter ohm centimeter raised to power minus one I'm not going to solve this use your calculators and if you make no mistake the value for conductivity Sigma is going to be two six eight eight seven point one eight into ten to the power minus five or you can write the Sigma equals to zero point two six eight eight seven and the unit should be ohm centimeter raised to power minus one now we have conductivity so we can find out resistivity rho rho is 1 by conductivity sigma so 1 divided by 0 0.26887 and the unit will be ohm centimeter if you calculate this the value for rho would be 3.719 ohm centimeter and uh, if you read the problem you can see we have to find out the resistivity and that should be 3.17 ohm centimeter so we have calculated the correct value for the resistivity that is 3.719 ohm centimeter and this is our answer 
This is all for this presentation. If you have doubt in any part of this numerical problem, you may ask in the comment section. In the next presentation, we will solve one more problem related to conductivity of semiconductors. So see you in the next presentation.